So this next move that we're going to take is we're going to move and just slide the whole graph left or right. So you did transformations in 108, so we're just doing those same transformations on trig functions. So we're just going to literally pull or push it left and right. So the form for that, where you have your value, is going to be cosine, and I'm just going to use the letter T. I could use any letter I want, but it's a letter inside. And a negative H inside will really, and this is not a mistake, it is going to pull it right. It's just the inverse of it because you're trying to make zero. So likewise, if I have the cosine of T plus H, this is really going to move it left, just kind of opposite of what you would imagine. So I have two grids here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to graph my normal cosine. There's no amplitude difference, so it's 1 and negative 1. And there's no period change, so it's 360. So I'm going to go ahead and label these points. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to slide this graph to the right, 45. So I only gra put on here one cycle. And that's all we're going to worry about is one cycle of the graph. So that means these points that I can easily identify will be pulled to the right, 45. So instead of starting at 0, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it over to 45. So instead of being at 90, I'm going to pull it over 45 more, which is 135. So instead of bottoming out at 180, I pulled it to the right, another 45, which is 225. 180 and 45. 270 is where it hits the axis, so I'm going to add 45 to that. And lastly, 360, 45 over would be 405. So it's the same shape of the graph, it's just slid over. And in this case, this addition sign is going to say you move me to the left. Now pi over 3 may not be too familiar with you because we're mostly working with degrees just for the sake of convenience for us right now. But if you recall in converting that, pi is equivalent to 180 degrees. So it looks like it looks like it's going to move at left 60. So again, I'm going to get my regular cosine graph so I can have a picture. And I'm going to keep everything in terms of degrees here. And your homework will be the same. Notice my amplitude did not change, nor did my period. It was still 360. And I'm going to pull everything to the left 60. So that means instead of starting at 0, this is going to be negative 60. Instead of hitting at 90, it's now going to be 30. So these are the points I'm going to move 60. So instead of being at 180, this bottom point is going to be at 120. Instead of being at 270, 60 this way is 210. Instead of being at 360, it's now going to be at 300. And notice the shape is the same. It's just slid. Unfortunately, you don't have a smart board where you could just drag it. The same thing works for sine. Okay, I'm going to get my normal sine graph. Notice the amplitude is still 1. There is no change in the length of the period. So again, I'm going to just keep it in the degrees. And those are all those important points around the unit circle. And this says you're going to move this thing to the left, opposite of what you think it might be, pi over 4. Well, pi over 4 is 180 divided by 4, which is 45 degrees. So I, again, will take these important points right here, the ones that are easy to find, and move them to the left 45. So instead of starting at 0, it's 45 over. Instead of being at 90, I shift it 45, which puts it at 45. 180 is where it hits the axis, but 45 less than that. So 45 minus 180 minus 45 is 135. Instead of being at 270, 45 this way. So that would be 225. And instead of hitting at 360, subtract 45. And then you're, here's your graph. But notice once again, my amplitude is the same and the period is the same. One last time, this is going to be right 20. I always have kind of my base graph. And I label pretty much every time what the period is. These happen to be no change in the period or the amplitude. Soon we'll put all those changes in effect. So I'm going to go right 20. So this is at 20. 90 sh shifted over 20 is 110. 180 shift 20, which is down here, which is 200. 270 shift 20 to the right. And 360 shift 20 would be 380. So that's what that value 
inside does. The big key idea is understanding if it moves left or right.